YouTube! Welcome back to my channel! Today we're gonna be doing a Christmassy tag. So I was tagged by the girls from Game of Tomes. So Jess and Christina have tagged me to do the tag, what is it called? Books Under the Tree tag. <laughs> I'll get there someday, I'm gonna get these names right one day. <laughs> okay, so today we're doing the Books Under the Tree tag by, I think, the girls from Game of Tomes created it. They're the creators of that tag, Jess and Christina. So yeah, anyway, let's let's just get on with it because I love tags and I love Christmas and I love books. So this is perfect. <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. Let's see. Question number one. What book would you like to find under the tree this year? Just one? Like, I, I need a whole pile of books. <laughs> but I think the book that I'm most looking forward to is Renegades by Marisa Meyer. I cannot wait to read the book. Yeah, I need that book, like, now. So yes, I really want that one to be under the Christmas tree. Who knows? Okay, question two. What's the best book you have ever received for Christmas? Okay, this one. Uh, where is it? This one is easy. S or The Ship of Thesis by Ah get back in there. By JJ Abrams and Doug Durst. I, I'm not very good with names. But yes, uh it's such a brilliant book. I feel like I I talk about this book so much. <laughs> and it still is very underrated. People don't really seem to know about it or talk about it. There's a little bit of mystery, there's a bit of romance, there's a little bit of action, there's everything really here. It's called Ship of Thesis and there's a story, you get to read the story, but then you also get the comments on the margins of the books and you get little clues to the mystery in the book. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Like, you get to see the people who are writing on the margins of the book get to know each other, even though they don't know each other personally. They get to know each other through the notes that, that they leave on the book. I'm not very good at explaining this. I'm not doing this any justice. Trust me, it's an amazing book. It's different from everything else I've ever read. So yes, if I were you, I'd give this one a try. It's totally worth it. Okay. Question number three. What book gives you all the Christmas feels? Okay, I'm gonna have to be very predictable for this one and say Harry Potter. Oh my goodness, I love Harry Potter. And especially at Christmas time. It's just perfect. I, I, I think the whole series just has a very Christmassy feel to it. And yes, and I've been listening to the audiobooks for the last few months and I'm now on the very last book. And we're coming up to Christmas and I think I'm going to finish before Christmas. And yeah, I, I can't... I, I love that series so much. <laughs> okay, question number four. What book do you plan on reading to put you into the Christmas spirit this year? Now, I'm planning on reading Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Did I get that right? I'm not very good at names. <laughs> but yes, um... Little Women, I've seen the film, I've seen two versions of the film, I think. So I know the story and it's very Christmassy, it's very wintry and cozy. So I'm planning on reading that book for the first time this Christmas. Okay, question number five. What book have you read this year that you would like to throw out with a Christmas tree after the holidays? Okay, for this one, I got... The Servants by M.M. M. Smith. It's not a bad book. I'm not saying it's a bad book. I, I, I don't know. The story just seems a bit pointless and disconnected. And I don't know. I didn't really enjoy that one. So I'm not rereading it. <laughs> right. Question number six. What's a book from this year that you would like to place under a friend's tree? <gasps> okay. So right now I'm doing a buddy read with a lot of people and we're reading Warcross by Mary Lou. 
This is my first Mary Lou book and I'm absolutely loving it. So, if anybody asks for a book recommendation this year, I'm gonna say Warcross because it's just brilliant, brilliant. So yes, Warcross. Okay, question number seven. Oh, it's a challenge. Create a stack of books in which the spines alternate green and red and share the titles. <laughs> okay. Now, here we go. Now, I know this one is technically turquoise, but I didn't have any other green books to get in there. So, you know, <laughs> we'll go with it. Okay, so the first book is Sky Key, an endgame novel. It's by James Frey, and I haven't read this one yet, but I'll get to it someday, you know. Now, second one is Warcross by Marie Lu, and I'm absolutely loving this. Ah, if you haven't read Warcross yet, please, please do so, because it's amazing. Yes, I highly recommend it. Okay, next book is Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth. Now, this is the last Percy Jackson book I've read. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series, and this is the best one so far in the series, and I absolutely loved it. Okay, next one is Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. In contrast to the last book, this is the worst one in the series, in my opinion. I mean, it's not bad, it's just not as good as the other books in the series. So, yeah. And... Next one is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Haven't read this one yet. I know, please don't kill me. Uh, yes, but I will read it at some point. Very soon, actually, because I really want to read that one. And next one is Fun Girl. Now, I know this is not a Christmassy shade of green, but we'll go with it because it's green and I don't have a lot of green books. <laughs> so, Fun Girl by Rainbow Rowell. And yeah, that was a good one. That was a good book. I, I like that one. So, yeah. Haven't read it, reading it, re read it, read it, haven't read it, read it. So yeah, I think, I think we're doing well here. Last question. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Who do you tag? Okay, so um, I tag basically everyone. Everyone who hasn't done this tag yet because it's brilliant, so much fun, and Christmassy, so yeah, it's perfect. I will tag a few specific people down below though, I'll leave their channels down below and yeah, uh, but I'm just tagging everyone right now. So if you like this video, click a thumbs up. If you're new here, hi, subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey, welcome back to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.